If you are a HubSpot CRM user, then this ChatSpot Weekly Update is for you. Welcome to the 15th edition of the ChatSpot Weekly Video Update Series. I'm starting this update from a company record in the CRM. Now this is a demo company record. I added some data in here, but it looks a lot like most other company records. We have a bunch of notes, activities, properties. A few weeks back, I showed you how ChatSpot can be used to summarize. Now we're bringing this even closer to your workflow with new actions in the CRM Actions dropdown. So from any company record, you can find the Actions menu and you'll see two new ChatSpot updates. The first, Summarize in ChatSpot, and the second, Showing News for a Company. We're gonna run a quick summary. ChatSpot will open in a new tab, then the prompt for you, ask for a summary, and deliver you that summary right at your fingertips. You can click back to HubSpot here or head right back into your CRM. Let's ask it for news. You probably have used this prompt a million times already. Here it is again. You can simply ask ChatSpot for news directly from the CRM record and it'll provide it for you. Now, of course, this works for contacts as well. We don't have news for contacts, but from any contact record, you can see the same situation. A ton of data, a ton of notes, a ton of things to sift through. From any contact record, you can now click summarize in ChatSpot, a new tab will open and you will send the prompt directly to ChatSpot. You'll get that summary as quickly as you can ask for it. I wanna show off one more thing that's going to be incredibly powerful for CRM use cases. And to show you that, I've created a brand new template under our reporting category with a bar chart. We're introducing new functionality that allows you to ask for a bar chart. With this template, you can create a bar chart directly from the ChatSpot UI and all you need to type is the time frame you're looking for. I wanna create a bar chart that shows contacts created weekly over the last six months. ChatSpot will instantly search my CRM data and generate this bar chart. I love the animation when it loads. It shows contacts created over time, broken down by week. We don't currently support any other object types for creating bar charts, but you can get flexible about the types of charts you ask it to create. We're hoping to add support for different types of objects over time. That does it for this week's ChatSpot video update. Actually, I've got one more thing I wanna show you. Don't leave just yet. Directly from HubSpot, we've got one more thing. We wanna bring ChatSpot closer to your workflow and now from anywhere inside of HubSpot, you can click your profile and navigate to ChatSpot AI, one click. No typing in the domains, no looking at your bookmarks, one click. I'll do that again. Click your profile, click ChatSpot AI and ChatSpot is open and ready for you to use. We're so excited about this continued integration into the HubSpot CRM. Thank you so much for watching. This has been ChatSpot Weekly number 15, a suite of updates delivered for our HubSpot CRM users. Happy chatspotting and we'll see you next week.